Hey, what's up guys? I hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike. We are about to get into the reaction for the movie Lamb 2021. I've been looking forward to this one, man. I've seen a trailer for it. I know it's from A24. You can already see part of the logo for A24 Studios on the screen. Uh, that's one of the main reasons I've been looking forward to this, just knowing it's on A24 Studios. All the films that I have seen from A24 have been really, like, I guess you could say visceral kind of movies. Uh, I pulled up the website here just to take a look and show you guys, you know, the, the kind of quality they have coming out of their studio. Um, so I've seen Midsommar, that's probably my favorite uh, A24 movie, although very disturbing. Um, here's this one, Lamb. I did see Green Knight in theaters, but I kind of fell asleep during it. So uh, maybe I'll be able to do a reaction to that one day. What I remember was pretty unique. Um, yeah, St. Maud, that was a crazy movie. That was the first reaction I ever did for a movie, uh, but I bombed the recording and messed it up. Uh, yeah, Uncut Gems, that was a freaking amazing movie, man. Lighthouse, that was crazy. Uh, Midsommar's right there. Yeah, so this studio, man, they, uh, they're they starting to get that reputation for these kind of really visceral and real personal uh, kind of movies. So I'm expecting that coming into this one. Uh, Lamb is, just so you guys know, it's set in Iceland, and it's about a couple who find a special or mysterious sheep in their barn. That's, I'll just say that. That's basically all I know about it too, but I mean, I have seen the trailer. Without further ado, guys, like I said, I'm excited for this one, man. Um, let's go ahead and dig in. I don't even really know what this is supposed to be, drama or horror or both. Oh, this is crazy on headphones. The music is going from left to right. Man, that weather. <laughs> These donkeys? This first couple shots here have been amazing, man. Actually, it's been one, one shot. That was one take. Amazing they got those animals to do that. Was no one in the doorway? Oh man! What is going on? They're playing the bells on a radio? Ah. Pregnant. It's pregnant. So someone opened that door earlier, but I didn't see anybody. I don't know if we're dealing with the horror element of Supernatural, but I know that there's something kind of supernatural in this movie. Man, that weather. That growling, I don't know if that's an animal or something else. Also, that woman, I'm pretty sure, uh, she was in the movie Prometheus, I think. That's a contrast. Now it's a beautiful day. This movie is always showing the animals looking at things. Oh, that's a cool shot. You know it's shown them together? I know the movie still just started, but they haven't interacted with each other yet. Even though they were in the same room. See that? It's always shown the animals looking at people or things. And they haven't even spoken in this movie yet. Oh, it's making me hungry. Ooh. Wow, was that real? Like, is that when they really did that? Are they gonna speak now? What's going on? Wow, they really are doing that. I wonder if this actress, this is the first time she ever had to do this. Look at this little tail wagon. Nora, 
Ela é para corta. Virou no. Their farm is on a nice place of land there. Super peaceful too, man. Compared to where I am in Houston, Texas. So it seems like their relationship is not the best. Could be worse, but it seems like they're... They're holding back on sharing their feelings or something. So they got these sheep on two levels of the barn? Is that what she was saying? Like, you, I didn't check the upper level? So are they like staying awake at different hours to take care of the farm? This guy looks like John. He looks like John Ritter. Ooh. Really graphic in showing this. What's wrong with it? The suspense man. That's beautiful. I see they're gonna keep me in suspense for a while. Thirsty baby. Man, they really just don't, they're not gonna be speaking much in this movie, I guess. What? Man, they're gonna keep me in suspense for a while on this. I'm guessing it has like normal legs and arms, like human legs and arms. It's never showing the whole body. Did he not like her singing, humming, or a lullaby to it? I wonder if that picture of that angel on a horse that was next to him is gonna have any relevance. Why is he... Wait, okay, did they... they did they lose a child, maybe? That's what's going on here in the past? <sighs> Maybe that's why she was saying, like, if we could turn back time, if we could go to the past. I wonder what part of Iceland this is. What was that about? Wait! It does stand like a human. It wants to see its kid. Huh? Are they? They're really treating this thing like a baby. Is that the mom outside? This movie's just gonna be full of clues. It's not gonna be super, anything super obvious. You're gonna have to be intelligent and think about it. You're gonna have a lot of metaphors. I feel like, yeah, they did, they must have lost a child in the past or something. It never shows us a clear shot of the arms and legs. Hi. Hi. See everyone else? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it. Is there a sword in the head? No, I'm going to sword in it. Uh oh. Where'd the lamb go? Ata! Wait, they, they named it? 
I missed that. Hot dog. Check with the mom. This is a strange movie, man. I can see it. So with its mom then? Oh, whoa! Whoa, man! Wow, what the heck? So, I feel like this is like nature wants the baby back. And the baby is half nature and half men. Oh, <laughs> that's so weird. <sighs> that's like the first display of like a tenderness between them. Oh, this is so weird. Fint. That reminds me of Midsommar. Mm. That's so weird. What? Whoa. Uh oh. What is this? What was that about, man? I'm assuming that was his phone that they threw? Are they going to sleep during the day? That would be a crazy dream. Oh, that's a cool shot. Upside down window with the uh, raindrops going up. Why are they asleep during the day? Why do people do that? If you're trying to be quiet, why don't people ever just shut the door like you turn the handle first, then shut it, then release the handle? Oh no! Man, really? Oh, this is messed up. I had a feeling this was going to happen. Nature wanted the baby back and that was her way of, you know, putting a stamp on it and saying, nope. Who the hell is this guy? Why was he dropped there? Oh, that's the kid. Wait, they know him? What's that? 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 Is it gonna speak? Okay. We're just gonna move on with life after seeing that. <laughs> oh, it has one human hand, one sheep hoof. Oh. <laughs> it 
This is so weird. This movie has a, quite a, a level of suspension of disbelief. What is he doing? Okay, so, so less of a suspension of disbelief than I thought. Okay. We're back to there being a higher suspension of disbelief. Because any normal human would <laughs> would not be like react that calmly. What the hell? Saw the body again. Skilled after what? It was the one that came out kicked out. Got to get a pit. I think it's not partnering. Are the things in the partnering? And if I'm found out on number like this, dear. Who is he going to talk to it? Huh. So both, it's like both man and nature want the baby to be a part of nature. Is that coffee that they're always drinking, like me? Or is that like tea? Oh no, what's he gonna do? Oh no, what's he doing? No way! No way, man! Oh no! Well, I guess he couldn't do it. I mean, then the movie would end now. We still got more to go. Huh. So he changed his mind and he saw it for its human qualities. Okay, yeah, they must have lost a child, man. Or three. And their child was named Ada, okay. I wonder who the other two uh, graves are for. Did she get a? Did she get upset that they were all screaming? Oh, what is this? <laughs> Oh, he was a musician. <laughs> Is this an original song? <laughs> She's not about the dancing. Yeah, what is that dog looking at, by the way? Oh, what is that? Ooh, whoa! Oh no! Oh no, man! Oh, I got the dog! That beast is the thing's dad! I know you have a voice. Oh no. 
I hope nothing happens with the the brother and the wife. Not the mean. Go to Lex and show me my ears off. So it's realizing what it is. Oh, that's crazy. Man, that audio really brought that picture to life. Dude, you better not mess with her. Oh, man. Dude, that is your brother's wife. How does he... Oh, yeah, he arrived that day. Oh, no, he... Kind of blackmail her. God. Dude. This sucks. Oh. Okay. Oh, that was the dog. I forgot about the cat. I haven't seen it in a while. Dead. Oh, he slept it off. Oh, she wants him to leave, I guess. <laughs> this movie is such a slow burn, I'm not going to be saying much in this reaction. Pieter. Give it. What is it, Gjöf? She is a new one. He's not coming home. Yeah, and what, what the hell? What about the other thing? The beast man. I don't mean the beast man. I mean the beast man. Despite everything that he did, she still gave him money and gave him a hug. Good thing a bus comes out kind of in near their way. What if he needed tools that are back at the farm? I guess so. Ata. What? <laughs> what is going on? Whoa! I noticed that gun was missing earlier. What? Holy crap, man. Whoa. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Is he going to be already gone now? No, he's still there. He went. Wow, this is crazy, man. So nature took back the baby after all. But then again, that's not really a creature of nature. It's like also a half man, half uh, beast. I wonder if this is based on some kind of uh, folk tale or something. Man. Don't tell me this is how it ends without any other clue. Oh. What is she doing? No way, we're gonna end it like that? Oh man.
All right, guys. Well, we just got done watching Lamb, and wow, man, this one, oh man, this one will stick with you. This was such a unique movie. Um, what a original. I mean, this was a very unique concept, man. Uh, I still have so many unanswered questions. I'll try to. I'm gonna be rambling here, but it's it's because I this one left me with really having to dig the depths of my my mind here to give my interpretation of this, but obviously, uh, well, first let me just talk about um, the movie itself without talking about the theme of the story or anything. So, absolutely beautiful shots. What a great shooting location. Um, I really like how in, uh, in some, I think in the very beginning, they there was uh, donkeys, and I thought that was amazing that they got them to do what they wanted them to do on camera in that first shot. That first shot in the film was such a great intro uh, with that intense weather. And, uh, you know, you could hear all the snorts of the uh, uh, donkeys. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think the first thing they saw was the Beast Man, right? Maybe all that, the, the sound of their breathing and stuff wasn't just them, it was that Beast Man that they saw and then they turned around and uh, went the other direction, but um, So the shots in this movie were excellent camera work was nice. The cinematography was excellent uh, The acting was was great. I uh, I'm sorry. I didn't catch. I think the theme uh, the female actress's name. She's a uh, Numi and I, I'm sorry if I'm saying her last name wrong Rapace Rapace uh, Excellent job, man. Like I said, I've seen her in Prometheus uh, She did really great in this the other two, I, I've never seen them in anything, I don't think. Uh, but they did great as well. Um, the brother, Peter, he... Uh, I mentioned in the reaction that uh, there's a you have to have a, a higher than normal level of suspension of disbelief in this movie. And I think part of that, what really made me think of that is how Peter reacted to of, you know, being around and first witnessing Ada, which obviously, you know, a normal person would have flipped the hell out if they saw that. He also kind of flipped out, but internally, just kind of like, what the hell are you guys doing? This is an animal. But obviously that's not a normal reaction. So yes, you do have to have a higher suspension of disbelief during this movie, especially the fact that they were raising a half, uh, half lamb, half human. Um, but, uh, I think that was great acting on his part. He kind of did this sort of, um, what's the word here? Not low key, but <laughs> a very calm reaction to seeing his brother and his wife raising a, a creature like this. Um, all right. So now let me talk about the themes in this. So obviously there's a theme of grief and parenthood and losing a child. There was, uh, a point where they showed the grave where the daughter was and there's two other uh, there's a total of three graves so I don't know if that was they lost three children or if they only lost one child and maybe those were other relatives but um, obviously they were replacing uh, you know filling that hole the grief and their and sadness in their lives with Otta they felt like Otta was a gift I think they even said that she or Maria said that to uh, Peter um, that Ada, the half lamb, half uh, human, was a gift. And they were trying to replace their child with something from nature. Um, throughout this movie, things kept trying to uh, pull uh, Ada back into nature. Um, the mother kept trying to call for her child, coming up to the house and crying out. Um, Peter, when he first arrived, he tried to let them know, hey, this isn't right. What the heck are you guys doing? Um, and then ultimately, the beast man came and took the, the cre uh, child back, took Ada back. Um, so, I mean, basically what this tells me is that um, the point of this, one of the other themes is that humanity shouldn't try to uh, control things that are part of nature. Uh, so this is kind of a wider theme I see like that you have on one hand uh, grief and parenthood and uh, trying to fill a hole with with uh, 
to seal off your grief with something like this, which you shouldn't do, even if it wasn't uh, this creature, even if it wasn't something involving nature. And then on the other hand, you also have the theme of uh, you man, humankind, you know, mankind shouldn't try to uh, take control of nature like this. Um, I could be, you know, maybe I'm wrong on this, but again, I, I'm sorry if I'm rambling. I'm just trying to unroll these thoughts out of my head. But um, if you guys have any other thoughts on this or interpretations, please let me know in the comments. Um, like I said, this one was left, uh, I think I mentioned this during the reaction, but you really got to be thinking on this one and keeping an eye out for all the metaphors because uh, I think this was purposely cryptic. They could have given more answers, but they didn't. Um, also, uh, there was a lot of, I, this is the kind of movie that requires a second watch because I feel like I missed a lot of the clues in the, the still shots. They would hang on certain shots in the house and there'd be, you know, things in the background, pictures. And I think I got to go back and watch that again to see if I missed any kind of clues. Uh, I did notice the most obvious one where uh, Maria was humming a lullaby to Ada and uh, Ingvar was watching in the doorway and I think it was like to the left of him there was that picture of an angel riding a horse so I don't I still I mean I saw that one clearly and I still don't know what kind of metaphor that might hold but um, yeah like I was saying this is the kind of movie that you have to kind of go back and watch it's worth another watch to see what you might have missed um, also, the uh, the dog being killed, I kind of feel like that's another theme of, uh, you know, trying to say humans shouldn't try to take things from nature, possibly. Um, I think that was another thing, too. I noticed when the dog was killed and Otta was running away, she was running through that doorway, you could see the gun was gone. I didn't think anything of it, though. I didn't think, the, who would have thought the beast creature would have had it at that point in the movie? Um, yeah, what, I mean, oh man, I still have so many unanswered questions and hopefully my thoughts are making sense. This, hopefully all my rambling is making sense to you guys, but, um, let me go ahead and wrap this one up. I'll just say again that, um, this was definitely worth a watch. I'd give it a solid seven out of 10. Um, I wish more questions were answered in this, but that maybe that's just me being too selfish and wanting more obvious answers, but that's not what this film was about. They, I mean, easily they could have given more answers, but they chose not to. Um, oh, one last thing. I want to talk about the very last shot in this film. So uh, the last shot we had was Maria crying. You can only kind of see like the upper half of her. And uh, she took a deep breath at the very end, like she was about to do something. You know, she was like, <sighs> You know, like you, you're psyching yourself up for something. You know, we, we've all done that before. Like, all right, let's get to work or let's, get, let's start that drive to work or, you know. Um, my personal interpretation of this after her losing Ada, her second Ada, um, and losing her husband, I think she was about to take her own life. That's just my own personal interpretation. I think that's what she was psyching herself up to do. Other, otherwise, why take that deep breath in preparation of something? Um, that's just my interpretation, though, guys. Um, again, uh, please put any interpretations or things you might have found online from the director or whatever in the comments if you want to talk about it. And uh, if you made it this far into the video, I just want to say thanks for spending time and hanging out with me and watching this movie with me and listening to my rambling thoughts. If you guys have any other movies you want me to check out, please let me know. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.